timeline wise I I'm trying to think I I think as you go towards the cave you'd be running into um, Emily walking away with uh, Wyatt Okay. <laughs> oh. So Frankie, to... Frankie oh. would have known that he was supposed to be in the room with what's her name? With Emily. Emily. Yeah. Your whisper is not coming through. I, I wasn't saying anything. I was okay. just okay. Waving. What the hell is going on? Uh, we just saw the monster. Yeah, well, that makes more than one of us. Uh, she had some buddies come out of the darkness. Um, it looks like she needs somebody to touch the altar. Yeah, well, she just ripped the dude apart. I'm saying that low enough to like more like in his ear. Yeah, that's fine. So that so so Emily. So not Emily doesn't that. hear. Yeah. Well, that's no good. How did she? What is going on? <laughs> How, how did that happen? Shadows. Like people walking out of the shadows? What Victor said. Get her They home. touched me. Can you show us where on the doll? didn't do anything to hurt me, which is weird that she hurt somebody else afterwards. Get home before Charlie and Victor find out. And get they her. Know yet? No, I you found him first. If, if you take your you time, they will. And I didn't see you. Let's go. It's good to meet you. Stay inside. Which direction are they so we can avoid them? They're going to the police station, so you're going to avoid them, no problem. Okay. I'm Thanks, going. Frankie. Did you stay with Frankie or come with me? I would have been with you. Uh, they told us to go on. Okay. To the police. All right. Uh, so Frankie's just going to the cave? Yep. Okay. Uh, you start heading into the woods towards the cave. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna, like, wait outside of it for a second and just kind of, like, keep, like, check my surroundings first. Like, no red eyes and, like, trees or any of that, like. Um... Do uh read a bad situation. Oh no. It's not necessarily a bad situation, but it's look around to read a bad situation. That's all it is. The definition is in the sense. Yeah. Read a bad situation is plus sharp. Sharp, right? Twelve. Hey, oh. that means that means you get to hold three. So, what's my best way in? What's my best way out? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? What's the biggest threat? What's most vulnerable to me? And what's the best way to protect the victims? Also, you get to mark an experience because you're going to check out somewhere creepy by yourself. That's a mundane move. I get to 
do an improvement after this. Ooh. Nice. Um, okay, so hold three means that I can choose three of those? Three of those questions. Okay. Um, any dangers we haven't noticed? There's nothing here right now. Okay. The fog that uh, you wouldn't know this, but the fog that Wyatt had seen earlier is no longer there. I lost my book. Hold on. Um, that I can't retain information. I don't know what the I don't remember the other one. Mm. What's my best way in? What's my best way out? What's the biggest threat? What's the most vulnerable to be? And what's the best way to protect the victims? Um, I guess protect the victims so I don't get myself killed. Um. Honestly, it seems like you're in good state right now. Doesn't seem like there's going to be anything going on. There's no noises, anything coming from inside in the surrounding wood area, uh, other than like crickets and stuff. And there's no noises coming from inside the cave. Actually, it's winter. There wouldn't be any crickets either. Okay. I was just about to say that. Then you get one more. Um, I don't need to. I don't know. Was it prepared to end up with three? Uh, I think with the way hold works, is you can save one of those for later. Okay. So then just I'll, I'll note save. note that you have a question. Okay, I will save my third one. Then click on current hold and put one there. In roll 20, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, also, if you act on any of the answers, you get a plus one to your roll. I'm going in. Okay. And what do you do? What What is your plan here? Or is there a plan here? There's not. This is Frankie acting on impulse. Um, they're going in. They're going in guns blazing. Rachel! Rachel, what did you do? <laughs> um... I I'm gonna walk into like far enough into where we first encountered her so into the first tunnel yeah into the first tunnel okay and um I want to uh, calling out seems stupid, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Rachel, are you here? It's... Ra Rachel, Rachel, are you here? It's you probably know my name from watching us and everything, but uh. It's, I'm Frankie. Um, you probably know me better and in an angrier sort of way because I was the one that hit you with the axe. There's no response. <laughs> I'm going to go further in. Rachel. How far are we talking? Um, I'm gonna go. 
I'm not gonna go like full into that like where Charlie was where Charlie was but I'm gonna like go a little bit further I'm gonna go in like increments and eventually get to where Charlie was so as you keep progressing um, I'm willing to place a bet but I could be wrong that as you slowly go further and further in I'm assuming Frankie's getting more and more freaked out <laughs> I think it's more nerves, because since it's so quiet, they don't know what's going to happen next. Like, it's hard to, like, assess or predict anything when there's, like, nothing to gauge. That's fair. Um, you end up getting to the cave, uh, or the, the circ oval room, whatever you want to call it, without any incidents. But, once you get to this room, there is something that you do see. And the thing that you do see is a... What's it called? Oh. A line in the like form of like a tally mark in blood on the wall. Um, oh, that's creepy. Okay, um, I'm gonna, can I make my way over there and kind of see if I can gauge if it's old or fresh? Well, considering it's ice, I'm gonna say that's pretty difficult. However, it wasn't like here, color? it wasn't here yesterday. Uh, color, well, the thing is, like, as soon as it hits it, it'd be frozen, right? Um, but it was not here yesterday when you were here. So, it's definitely from today. Rachel, why are you keeping a tally? Nothing. All that is happening. Yeah, all that's happening is you are speaking to yourself at this moment. Talking to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, since you're probably not here, and I am actually just talking to myself, I'm just gonna talk out loud and figure out possibilities. Um. It could be people who fucked you over. Maybe you have to kill a certain number of people. But, oh god. And why in blood? I mean, it's ice. You could carve it. <laughs> Is it symbolic? Do you need the blood later for like a ritual? Is it just because it was funny? Thank you for not hurting the kid, by the way, if you're listening. Uh. You know, if I keep coming in here and, like, visiting you like this, I you should really maybe, I don't know, get a chair or, like, a used couch or something for company. Are you I mean, staring at the wall? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the hunter dude did or did to you, but I know he wasn't around here, so I'm gonna... If this is from him, I'm gonna go ahead and rule out the people who fucked you over in a past life theory. Unless he shot at you, then 
you know, I'd probably be on your list too, I guess. I didn't shoot at you, but I did smack you with an axe. I got instant karma for that, though, because... You see uh, fog start to appear, like, right in front of you. It's not touching the wall yet, but it seems like it's moving in. Did you hear me rambling and just wanted to tell me to shut up? Uh, I'll repeat my thank you for not hurting the kid, though. I appreciate it. Uh, and I'm sorry I smacked an axe at you. You, well, you caught us. You caught me off guard, and it scared me, and it was kind of a knee-jerk reaction. Uh... Again, why the blood? Like, I'm gonna just kind of look around, like, see if I see anyone. Uh, you begin to see movement, but no red eyes. You see the room starts to get dark the similar shadow formations that you saw in the cell and that Wyatt had just talked about and that uh, Victor had also just talked about start to form in the room hello I'm sorry, sorry to bother you. I was hoping to chat because you know, uh, someone was just brutally murdered. They begin to charge in your direction. Uh, I will take a step back that uh i'm just trying to figure out why i mean i didn't know him i um were you the same ones that were messing with the kid earlier there's there's no responses to any of your questions yes, no okay um I don't know sign language, so we... Uh, can you write? Can I, I... I'm assuming you can hear me. Can you, like, write a response? Does, can, does that work? I don't know. I mean, from what I heard, you could, like, hold on to a person. So I think maybe you could hold on to a pen. And you ripped a book out of my hand, so... I'm gonna get you to act under pressure. Uh, that's cool, right? Yes. <laughs> Which we're super high in. Hey, everybody's getting an increase in their cool, so... Seven. Seven. Just above a fail. I rolled an eight. You have a minus one. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So, as... Freaky acts cool, but they're not necessarily cool. That's fair. Uh, as you are... Um, standing there. And they are charging you. You... Get the feeling... Like... Sometimes you can like sense when somebody is angry or... Um, has malicious intent stuff like that um, you get that feeling and I'm going to give you a choice you can stay and have something bad happen to you in the sense of trying to uh, communicate with 
Rachel still. Or you can try and get out of here and not get your other questions answered. Um, can I ask the same question more than once? Sure. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. I really would like to get some answers. Um... I keep leaving without getting more answers. I'm going to hold my ground. And were you asking a question or no? Uh, sure, I'll use it. Um, since the situation has changed, what's the best way to protect the victim? <laughs> and that's you? I'm assuming that's me, since I feel malicious intent towards me. Okay, so the best way to protect the victim in this situation would be to run away from the things charging at you. But we're not doing that. So, that's, that's the best I can give you. Um, so, with that being the case, you have chosen to stay. And two of these uh, things take your arms and like grab you and slam you up against the wall uh do dealing you uh one harm uh but you your back and head slam with such force that you like get dizzy for a second and get an instant headache um and then you see the red eyes appear in the room and it walks up to you um and stands up and when it's standing up, you come up to its chest, but it kind of leans down and is right up against your face. And you feel the cold just emanating from its body. I'm not going to hit you with an axe again if that's what you're worried about. Did that guy do something to you? Once again, you see her cock her head to the side, get a disappointed look on her face, and disappear. And the two the beings beside you are gone. Then the fog slowly starts to dissipate. I'm gonna just like sink to the floor for a second and let my head stop pounding and then I will like slowly my way back. Uh, log. Okay. Um for we'll move on now to Wyatt. Wyatt, you get back to the lodge, climb up your rope, I assume a rope, I don't know, a bunch yeah. of tied together blankets, um, and get back into the room. Um, and Emily looks at you and she's like, um, so that's, I'm all good for tonight. Um, I had a lot of fun with you, and we're definitely going to do this again sometime, but I guess maybe you need to talk to... Frankie before we do that um, just to kind of let them know what what the situation is um, I'll see you again see you tomorrow yeah I'm glad you had a good time and she kind of stares at you for a second and then walks out the door are you doing anything uh, I'm gonna follow her out the door okay where are you following her to? Uh, ominous. Good night, Emily. Thanks for coming. 
Um, and then I'm gonna leave and go try to find. Uh, I'm gonna go back towards the edge of the woods where I left Frankie. Right. Um. So you head back towards the edge of the woods. Um. Are you just waiting for Frankie? Because Frankie's gonna be a little bit. I'm debating whether I'm gonna go after. I don't. Frankie didn't say where she was going. Not really, no. She was just going into the woods. Or they were going into the woods. I guess I'm gonna go to the police station. Okay. Um, so again, timeline-wise, uh, the police station is Victor, Maxine, and the two dudes. Um, police station is closed, but I guess there's an emergency number outside. Um, and you guys head there. I assume you're going to call the number. Um, yep. Okay. So we'll have that conversation of you calling the number and then go from there. Uh, so you call the number and one second. Don't be Olivia. Don't be Olivia. Don't be Olivia. <laughs> Don't be Olivia. <laughs> Sheriff Bennett, what's up? Uh, how can I help you? Not what's up. Hmm, that seems unprofessional. Sheriff Bennett, how can I help you? I just looking to see if it's Olivia Bennett. That's is it Olivia Bennett? No, it's a it's a okay, it's a dude for one thing. <laughs> I can't remember what Olivia's last name is. So, anyway, guys, I just have it as Olivia. Hello, Sheriff. Um, we got some problems. Can you come down to the police station? Yeah. Uh, are we talking like right now or can I get ready first? Uh, we're talking murder. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, we'll be here. All right. So you guys are standing outside of the police station. Um, you see a car drive up to the police station with like a light in the window type of thing not on top of the car um and out gets this man um this this man this man one second Here we go. um it looks like eduardo just wait uh, where is he? That's a pretty nice, pretty nice suit, Sheriff. <laughs> where is he? There he is. Uh, he gets out and he's like, all right. So, um, was it one of these guys? And they're like, no, it, it was some th things in the woods. And he's like, oh. So animals, it's not murder. Then he just looks at you. It's like, all right, what, what, what did it? And the guys are like, some, some sort of, I don't know, shadow creatures. They were just grabbed him by all four limbs and just tore. And he's like, I know it's dark out there. I understand that, but um, I need something other than shadow creatures, wolves, bears. What are we talking? No, legitimate shadow creatures. Okay. You, um, inebriated in some sort of way. And, uh, Jake is like, I mean, I had a beer. Or maybe two or three, but at, this guy's no help either. He was in the bar too. Hey, Mark did not have anything to drink and... He saw the whole thing too. It's true. I, I, I'm the one who went and got him. Um, I saw this thing, this shadow being, like it looked almost humanoid, but shadow. And it grabbed Tom and took him into the woods. So I rushed to the pub, grabbed Jake, and we ran to the woods immediately. And that's when we saw it happen. Did you see this too? 
Uh, yeah, I hate to say it, but it's exactly like they said. All right. Shadow creatures killed man. Who am I arresting? Well, you can't arrest shadows. I'm just telling you there. That's my when, issue. When you see the body, when you see the body, you're going to, you'll see these guys aren't telling you, telling you lies. You're not going to see any All teeth right. marks. You're not going to see nothing. Where are we going? I'll show you. All right. So you take him out into the woods. Correct. Yeah, I don't know if you want to leave these guys behind or if they want to come with us. I'd like. Uh, they're not really going to be of any help. Um, but as you guys are walking away, Wyatt shows up. Wyatt, what are you, what are you doing out here? Uh, just checking to see how y'all were doing. This is where Charlie better. and Joe were. You mean Frankie? No, Charlie. Oh, you're lying. I understand. <laughs> uh, Not sure how Charlie would have known, but all right. <laughs> this one's with you. It's... How gruesome is it? Is the kid going to have nightmares? Uh, yeah, you should go back to the room, Wyatt. It's fine. Whatever. No, uh, really. It's not my child. No, really. You should go back to the room. Just show me where it is. It's late. Um, like what you're about to see, Wyatt, you're not going to be able to unsee this. Yeah. Maybe it'll replace the nightmares I already have. A little very a little variety in life is called the spice of life. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not your father. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, his father's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think I see in the nightmares? Let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, you all three head into the woods. Uh, the woods that you guys are heading into is on the other side of town. So not the ones that you normally go into. But the what I don't have them drawn in, but they're behind like wilderness outfitters and kind of Jebediah Memorial Hunting Lodge, whatever. Um, so you guys are heading out that way, and uh, you come across the clearing or not clearing, but the wooded area where the man got torn apart. Um, and begin to investigate. Um, so investigate a mystery. Ooh, yeah. What is that plus what? Or sharp. what are we rolling here? Sharp. What? Oh, sharp. So 12. Yeah, okay, you get to hold a whole... No, sorry. 11. You get to hold two. So what happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What was it going to do? And what is being concealed here? So we'll go with... Uh, when I'm saying what sort of creature is it, um, that'd be like... Questioning about the shadow part, right? Sure. Okay, well, I already know that. Do you? It looked like shadows, so yeah. Uh, what can hurt it? Um, that's not light. Really, that's not really a question that can be answered, but it was shadows. So light. Uh, what can it do? Oh, um, first Wyatt, uh, as as this is something you haven't seen before, you come up and you see a uh, man in hunting gear bisected into four pieces. No. Quad sected into four pieces. Because um, I don't think bisected, I think that'd just be two. Um, yeah. 
so you said what was the one you heard asked what happened here no i know what happened here okay uh, i asked what can it do what can it do no. yeah uh from what you what you saw it was stronger than a normal human should be and it had the same abilities that a human would have it could hold something it can it had form but it didn't have form at the same time because when the people shot at it it just went right through but it still has the ability to grab on and do things to people yeah okay and that's it um yeah i can see how this um might seem like something that doesn't happen very often but unfortunately with the animals and stuff around here they can rip a man to no shreds. no 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 sheriff you're gonna look and you're gonna see there's no teeth marks there's nothing he grabs a flashlight out of his shirt pocket and flashes and it's like well i guess we'll have to see um All right, I'm going to give Silas a call. Guys, just so you know, the guy shot at them, and the bullets just went right through these things. Okay. I mean, I know it's fun to make up stories, but not in this situation. You, can, you can't tell me that they shot at something and nothing happened. Like, come on. Anyway. Sheriff, I'm just I, trying to be transparent with you. I have to call Silas. Give me a sec. Uh, he walks away for a second and rings up or pulls up his phone and starts calling and talking to somebody. In this time, if you and uh, Wyatt would like to have a conversation, feel free. So what happened? Well, we chased these guys that came into the, well, the one guy came into the bar where we were drinking, questioning some people. And then uh, he yelled at the other guy. And so we all got up and chased them because we were like, something's up. So we chased after them. And then we heard this scream. And I took off to try and catch up to them a little faster than Maxine and Frankie. And when I got there, I saw four shadow creatures, one holding each of his limbs, pulling on this thing. And it just ripped him apart right in front of us. It was, it was terrifying you say such shadow creatures can you give a better description of what you saw four human looking shadow figures that could hold on to this guy and when i told the sheriff they shot at these things they did they shot right at them and the bullets went right through them male female tall see-through physical like what more details uh, tall, thin. You couldn't see through them. They were dark. Uh, did any of them touch you? Nope. Once they ripped that thing apart. Oh, I also saw our good friend, uh, the blue-faced, red-eyed creature behind that tree over there. And once the job was done, uh, it got a big smile on its face. else was there just those two guys at the police station and they saw all this too yeah but they never saw the blue the blue person blue person yeah the ice lady or ice guy with the oh. eyes that makes more sense was just talking to somebody about somebody that was blue, so I wanted to distinguish between a blue lady and the ice person. Oh, yeah, gotcha. No, Rachel, sorry, I'll be more specific. Okay. I think things are escalating because up till now, nobody's really been hurt, like murdered. 
what did y'all do to the shadow people? I assume the shadow people match the description of who I saw. Yep. What did y'all do to antagonize the shadow people to get they attacked? They aren't. They aren't there, are they? No, they were still. No, those guys are back at the police station. They're at the station, so you're just talking to Victor. Well, Victor the was there. Victor, I'm, I'm talking to Victor. Okay. Victor didn't see that. Uh, I have no idea. I I came after. This is all I came was Vic chased up. Victor, and saw Victor them. came as the guy was being torn apart. That's all I got to see. And the guys didn't so we, shoot at the shadow creatures until he had been they torn ripped apart. it apart. He has a name. It's Tom. Were y'all here when Tom got attacked? Are you talking to Who's Victor talking again? To? The two, the two people that were they're, here. They're, they're at there. the police station. They're, they're oh, at the okay. You're, you're just, at the just site of the body. 